Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to successfully create a VPN server using Windows XP. Go ahead and click on Start. Click on Control Panel and go to Network Connections. In the Network Connections, click on File. new connection in the new connection wizard click next in the network connection type select setup and advanced connection and click next in the advanced connection options select accept incoming connections and click next in the uh, devices for incoming connections go ahead and click next unless you have a specific device that you want to use in the incoming VPN connection select allow virtual private connections and click next now select the user in my case, I selected Edit, which I already configured, and then click Next. Now here, a lot of people just click Next. Before you click Next, you got to go to Properties. And by default, it's going to look like this. If you leave it like that, it'll probably prompt you with an error. So go ahead and select Specify TCP IP Address and select an IP range. In my case, I selected a total of 11. So it's 192.168.1.110, I'm sorry, 120 throughout 130. And then click OK. And then click Next. Now finish the wizard. And you're done. You have successfully completed the VPN server for Windows XP. Now we're going to test it. I'm using a Windows 7 in my network. So unfortunately, I can't use a Windows XP because I have a mixed operating system in my network. So let's begin. In Windows 7, go ahead and click on Start. Go to Control Panel. In the Control Panel, go to Network and Sharing Center. In the Network and Sharing Center, click on Set up a new connection or network. In the following window, click on Connect to a Workplace, set up a VPN, and then click Next. Now here, select Use My Internet Connection, VPN. And now, where it says Internet Address, type the IP address where you're hosting your VPN server. In my case, I'm in a LAN, so I'm going to type the IP address of that specific computer. And the name, I'm going to name it Avoid Errors VPN. The internet address can be a WAN IP address, a LAN IP address, it can be many things. Username, remember, I use edit as the user and the password. Now I'm going to click connect. It should be successful. Perfect. I'm connected. You see? You are connected. Great. Now I'm in the Avoid Errors VPN. It's perfect. I connected. Now I'm going to show you what would happen if I didn't configure those IP addresses in the uh, Windows XP uh, VPN server. I'm going to disconnect here. And now I'm going to the um, Windows XP. I'm going to right click my VPN. Click Properties. 
I'm gonna select the network tab oops sorry the network tab and I'm gonna make sure I have uh, TCP IP selected and then go to properties now here I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna leave it default and then click OK then apply and I'm gonna go back and test my connection and see if it comes up with any errors select it click next I'm gonna type my username and password and here you are error see many videos out there they just tell you look next 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 but they don't tell you some small details that make the VPN work like in this case now I'm gonna go back to the Windows XP server right click properties again go to networking tab and then make sure that I have the uh, TCP IP selected and click properties now here I'm gonna select specify a TCP IP address and then click OK you see my range 120 to 130 click OK apply go back to my client and then just click on redial and immediately connect it you see the best thing you can do is properly configure whether it's VPN or whatever it is you configured because sometimes it gives you an error like that one error 720 and when you google it it gives you a lot of different uh, solutions and the best thing to do is have like a properly configured VPN or whatever it is you're configuring so thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions thank you